Good evening. Good evening, Nana. Good evening, teacher. Enjoy, enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elmer. How are you today? Fine. Very fine. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Sulma, how are you? How are you? How are you? My dear students, always eating pupusas and tamales. <laughs> okay, good. We're going to start in a moment. Okay, let's see. Okay, mm -hmm. Alba, I got it. Let's start the class. Okay, now can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, this is uh, the exercise about yesterday, remember? The adjective and adjective plus noun, remember? Uh, yes. Okay, but yes. this was the explanation, aquí está. Okay, you see below, a teacher job is interesting, a teacher has an interesting job. A secretary's job is stressful. A secretary has a stressful job. Okay, that is the, the order or how to use adjectives in two ways and they mean the same thing. Okay, así de dos maneras. It significa lo mismo. All right? All right. Good. Now, my friends. I need you to work on number two, three, four, five, and six. And write it in a different way. Okay. Si, si está así, a teacher job interesting, va a escribir a teacher has an interesting job. Y si está, a teacher has an interesting job, van a escribir, a teacher job is interesting. Understand the activity? Yes. Okay. Do it, please, and send it to the chat.
I'm waiting, I'm waiting for your answers. Here's in the chat, in Zoom chat. Hurry up. I'm sorry. Hurry up with your answers, please. Are you doing the activity? Send it to the chat. To Zoom chat. In WhatsApp? No, Zoom. Okay. Thank you. An athlete. No, I, I Genesis, we're going to erase apostrophe s yes, no vile apostrophe s yes. so that would say an athlete has an exciting job okay thank you genesis A lawyer has a stressful job. Or oh, a stressful job. A stressful job, yes, a stressful. A stressful. Falta el artículo indefinido, ah. A lawyer has a stressful job. A counter. Donde está counter? A counter. No, no, no está a counter. Es no. um, a security guard. Uh, a security guard. A security guard. 
Yes. A security guard. Pero aquí dice boring. It's a, it's a boring job. Okay, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. A security guard. No, sería a security a security oh. guards is bo a security guards job is boring. Aha. Uh, a security is the guard, other way around. A security okay. guards a security guards is job boring. No, just to remind you, si lo tenemos de una manera, lo vamos a escribir de la otra. Mm -hmm. Ok. A security guard's job is boring. Genesis, you're good. Ana Cristina, you're good too. Come on, come on, come on. A photographer's job is, no, 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 no es easy. Aquí dice difficult. ¿Por qué le están cambiando el, el adjetivo? Aunque está bien, aunque está bien la, 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 la oración, pero why are you changing the, the, the sentence? Elmer, your dogs are barking too much. A photographer's, a photographer's job is difficult. Okay, thank you, Anna. An athlete has an exciting job. Very good. One more minute and we change activity, my friends. A police officer's job no puedo poner officers en is en el mismo, en el mismo, ¿ok? Ese is va a ir después de job. Mercedes. Ok, let's change activity. Okay, 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 okay. Now, my friends, listen. This is going to be a, a long conversation that you're going to have with your partners. Okay, mire cuántas preguntas hay. Do you have a job? Where do you work? What do you do? Is your job interesting? What time do you start work? When do you finish work? Do you like your job? What do you after work? Um, ask about classmate, friends, or family member. Tell me about your, aquí, ahí quien iría, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, etc. Where does he or she work? We're talking about de la persona que, que, que le preguntó anteriormente. Si, digamos, about your sister. Tell me about your sister. Where does she work? What does she do exactly? Is her job difficult? What time does, does she start work? Okay, es para practicar la tercera persona, all right? Ahora, eh, ask me a question, Elmer, from here. Is your job interesting? Yes, it is. My job is um, very interesting because I teach to uh, many people all the time I'm meeting new people okay Julius thank you Elmer Julius Cesar another okay. question another question one question from here no question one question from here 
Ask me. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. I have two jobs currently. I work for the City Hall of San Salvador and I work for Inglés Corporativo. Thank you. Now, Alba, Carolina. When do you finish work? I finish work, on my first job, I finish work at four. And on my second job, I finish uh, work at 10 p.m. Okay, thank Okay, you. another question, Liliana. Is your job interesting? Yes, it is. I teach English every day. Sulma, another question? Do you like your, jo your job? Uh, I, yeah, my job. I love, job. I love my job. I love teaching. Oh, very. All right. Melissa, another question. We can hear you. We don't listen. What do you do after Oh, okay. What do you do after work? Okay, I go home. I relax for a moment. And um, I talk with my 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 wife for a, for a moment and then watch TV. Okay, those questions you're going to make to your partner, okay? A preguntarse, all right? Have a, try not to speak Spanish, okay? Not, not Spanish. Okay, here.
Okay, open your cameras, please. Open your cameras, my friends. Here we go. Aquí vamos. Here we go. One more. We go back to our our class. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Guess what? We're gonna talk about food. Broccoli is good for me. Yeah, broccoli is good for you. Okay, so we have the food pyramid. We had fat, oil, and sugar. Food, good for good, uh, food pyramid, for good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other pro protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. So, do you understand? why we have a pyramid a food pyramid no. yeah no in this in the base of the pyramid we have an ample space yeah that means that you can eat a lot of bread cereal okay the, i mean like grains then fruit then meat en less fat and oil. O sea, se va, va cerrando la pirámide. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que debemos de comer más de lo que está aquí abajo y menos de lo que está arriba. Eso es lo que significa la pirámide. ¿Ok? okay. Le, less candies, less oil, less cream, ¿ok? Uh, more or less eggs, ¿ok? To have a balanced diet, okay? Entonces tenemos fat, oil, and sugar. We have cream, butter, oil, candy, potato chips. And then we had meat and other protein. Fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef. And dairy products, o sea, productos lácteos. Dairy products, milk, yogurt, and cheese. Fruit, we have bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, and mangoes. And vegetables, we have broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, and potatoes. Este es un poquito nomás, ¿verdad? de vocabulario. There are more, a lot more. Then we have grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, sorry, noodles and pasta. Any questions? Any questions? No. No questions. Okay. Let's go to the next activity. Let's take a picture of this. And work on this. 
what foods do you like? What foods don't you like? Make a list. Okay, I like rice, potato chip, carrots, potatoes, uh, tomatoes, broccoli, etc. And I don't like, I don't like pacaya, I don't like pata soup, uh, I don't like spaghetti. Esa es otra cosa, ¿verdad? Okay, so I don't like spaghetti, I don't like... Um, uh, what else do I don't like? Uh, onion. Okay. No, I, I like onion. I don't like garlic. Okay. Ah, okay. Make a list, please. Food you like and food you don't like. Okay. Four. More. Four, five, six, seven. Finish? No. Hurry up, please. One moment. Okay, good. Only one moment, not two moments, ni three, neither three moments, okay? Only one moment. It's okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Finish. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yes, teacher. Okay, you're gonna go to the groups and say, van a hacer esto, mire, y van a decir, I like, I like apples, birds, watermelon, strawberries, meat, fish, chicken, potatoes, tomatoes, milk, butter, etc. Okay, lo que le guste. Y va a decir, I don't like I don't like onion, garlic, broccoli, cauliflower, eggplants, y lo que no le gusta, okay? And then another okay. partner, okay? Okay. And then another partner. They turns.
Okay, can you see my screen, my friends? Yes? No? Yes. Okay, we're going to talk about so many count and non count nouns. I'm going to explain in Spanglish, okay? So we have, do we need any X? That's a question. Y vamos a usar la palabra any para hacer preguntas, okay? So I can ask you, do we have any eggs? Do we have any tomatoes? Do we have any onions? Do we have any, um, what else? Um, apples, etc. Okay. And we answer with some. Mire, yes, let's get some. Okay. Voy a usar some para responder. Okay. Afirmativamente. In case, okay, in the negative answer, vamos a decir, no, we don't, we don't need any. Voy a usar any en respuestas negativas, okay? Entonces, decimos que usamos any para preguntas y any para respuestas negativas, okay? For questions and negative answers. ¿Comprenden eso? Yes. No. No. Alguien, alguien que, que, que explique ahí, por favor, que haya comprendido. Any question? Ajá. Es positiva. Son. Son. Pues es negativa. Any. any. Ok. Gracias, Elmer. Cuando hagamos preguntas, vamos a usar la, la palabra any. Do we need, do we have any? Y lo que, lo que se quiera decir, ¿verdad? Do we need any eggs? En las respuestas afirmativas voy a usar some. Y en las respuestas negativas voy a usar any. ¿Comprende? Ok, veamos, yes. el, veamos el otro ejemplo. Dice, do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. Ok, let's get some. Ahí el, el bread es opcional porque ya sabemos de qué estamos hablando. Ok, no, we don't need any. Igual, bread es opcional. Ya sabemos de qué, qué estamos hablando del pan, ¿verdad? Ok, ese es el caso de el uso del any, some. En preguntas, respuestas afirmativas, respuestas negativas. Ahora vamos a hablar con los count nouns. ¿Qué son los count nouns? Count nouns are the, the things that we can count. Son las cosas que podemos contar. Aplicándolo a comida, we can count tomatoes, egg, bananas, oranges, strawberries, lemons. Todo eso que podamos contar. Mire, an egg. A sandwich, podemos, puedo, puedo contar un sandwich, ¿verdad? Una pregunta, ah, Tiche. Hola, hola, hola. Y, y aquí diría entonces, ¿necesitamos ningún huevo o cómo sería? Ah, y usted, la traducción dice de eso. Ajá, ajá. Si necesitamos algunos. Any es algunos. También, algún, entonces. algún o algunos. Oh, vale, gracias, porque se escucharía feo decir algún huevos, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá, algunos. Sí. A veces traducir nos, nos desubica. Hay que uh -huh. interpretar, hay que interpretar. Ok. Uh -huh. All right, count nouns. So, count nouns are the things we can count. Y no solo comida, ¿verdad? We can count books. We can count uh, pictures. We can count objects. Things okay. Ahora los non count nouns are the things that we cannot count. Son las cosas que no podemos. In first place, we cannot count liquids. No podemos contar soda, coffee, tea, juice. 
milk. Eso no lo puedo Bye. contar. No puedo ¿Qué decir. ¿Qué significa Ned? Grill. Grill. Where? Bread. Mm -hmm. Pan. Pan, 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 pan. Pan. Some. Some. Algunos. O algo. Y en el caso de los sándwiches, está dirigiéndose ya cuando ya están hechos, que los podemos contar. Correcto. Cuando está en pan entero, no se puede. No, porque no ha hecho ningún sándwich. Uh -huh. No, no hemos hecho nada todavía. Teacher, perdón, quiere decir que el cot, el cot now es... Ajá. Eh, Plural se puede decir. Y mm. el not count, non, non count, nouns, uh -huh. es como singular. Ahorita explico. Los count nouns son los que podemos contar, ¿ok? Puede ser singular y, por supuesto, en plural. O sea, yo digo un huevo y digo huevos, ¿verdad? Digo naranja, naranjas. ¿Ok? Los non count nouns son las cosas que no se pueden contar. Por ejemplo, el aceite no se puede contar. La leche, el queso, el azúcar, la sal. Esas cosas no se pueden contar. La margarina no se puede contar. El arroz, los frijoles, la harina, eso no se puede contar. Esos son non count nouns. Los líquidos no se pueden contar. ¿Ok? Así que a eso se le llaman nombres incontables. ¿Ok? ¿Are we ok? Ok. Yes, thanks. Ok, good. Specific, I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. Ok, mire. Egg es contable, bread es incontable. Lo digo, let's get some bread. Consigamos algo de pan. Ok. O, oh, y aquí digo un huevo, right? En general, eggs are, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Todo lo que sea incontable lo voy a tratar como singular. Ok. Lemonade is good for you. Milk is good for you. Oil is bad for you. Okay. Any questions? More questions? Eh, yo sí quiero decir que quiero alguna botella con agua, por ejemplo. Ah, si ya hablamos de contenedores, de correcto, si ya tengo botellas, estamos hablando de contenedores. Y los contenedores sí se pueden, se, valga la redundancia, sí puedo contarlos. Entonces, Porque, ¿qué puedo decir? Do we need any botellas? Any bottles. Water. Any bottles ah. of water. Allí sí. Yes, we need... Uh, four bottles, three bottles. Ahí sí, porque van en botella, pero en general el agua no. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ok. ¿Y cuándo es por peso? Por peso. Ahí son measurements and containers. Ahí también ya, es, ya establecemos una medida. Esa es otra clase. Ese es otro, 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 otro. Es una clase aparte para hablar de eso. Sería contain. Entonces, ahí no iría, ya no iría eh, así la oración, sino que no, sería no, distinto. Ya sería distinto. Ya usaríamos ah. contenedores, ya usaríamos libras. Kilos. Etcétera. Ok. Please work. Oh, my goodness. Ya se nos fue el tiempo. But uh, um, try to work on this. Y mañana lo ponemos en pleno. Tomorrow we can, we can solve this together. 
We're gonna check this. This is going to be our first activity tomorrow, okay? We're gonna check the answers. Try to work if you can, okay? Si tiene tiempo, do it. If you don't have, we could do it at night, okay? We do it together. Okay, my friends. Open your cameras and say hello. Okay, one, two, three. Open your cameras, please. Open your cameras. Thank you. Hay un nombre, eso, eso está mejor. Good. Thank you. Sonríen. Smile. Okay. Let's call the attendance. Me he perdido. Hmm. I can find you guys. O esta es. Je, je, je. No. Aquí está. Sorry about that. The fifth. Okay, Alba Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Alba Iris. Álvaro Mauricio. Ana Cristina. Present. Thank you, Ana Georgina. Ana Georgina. No. Uh, Ana Janet. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Maria. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Saray. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer. Present teacher. Emma Débora. Present. Thank you. Eva Margarita. Fátima Saray. Present. Genesis. Present. Joan Stephanie. Thank you. No está Joana. Julio César Tobar. Present. Thank you. Julio César Vaquis. Present. 
Thank you. Liliana Rosemary. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Melissa Daniela. No vino. Mercedes. Presa. Thank you. Miguel Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Miriam Maricela. Present. Thank you. Roxana Stephanie. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Thank you. Yedmi Wendiles. Present teacher. Thank you. Yolanda Yamilet. Present. And Sulma Janet. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, my friends, see you tomorrow. We'll continue you, with mama. count nouns and non count nouns. Good night and goodbye. Good night, teachers. Good, 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 good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye, everybody.